It is a ship to withstand the test of time, but before the USS Billings begins its duties, it needs a proper send-off. Tonight, Billings donors met for what could be considered a fundraising kickoff for the ship's official commissioning August 3rd. As Q2's Andrea Lutz reports, it all began with a train ride. The USS Billings being commissioned this summer, and because our city bears the name on the side of the ship, the pressure is on to fundraise. So through those doors, over 100 people are taking the ride of a lifetime. All aboard! So Burlington Northern approached us and, and gave us an opportunity to do some fundraising for the USS Billings. 120 people boarding this historic BNSF train heading east. And they meet with one thing in common. I think it's incredible that Billings got a ship named after it. My dad is Navy and my son is Navy. My husband was Army. So I surprised him with tickets tonight. Each ticket costs 100 bucks. On this night alone, $10,000 is raised, but there's plenty more to go. Now the excitement is starting to build. The community is getting excited. They're buying the hats. They're buying the, the, the challenge coins and the shirts and stuff like that. So it really is generating some positive uh, outcomes. So organizers say fundraising events have got to hit the mark. Those are his passes. These are my passes. We've been working on this for probably a year and a half, just trying to get to this point. Now the excitement is starting to build. A fundraising committee made up of volunteers and business leaders, community leaders, all of them saying that throwing the USS Billings a party is going to cost several hundred thousand dollars. So far, already $150,000 has been raised. The Navy finally made it official that August 3rd was going to be the, the commissioning date down in Key West. So we've got a lot more planning that we've been uh, putting all the little details together as we get closer to that date. So now that the date has been set for August 3rd in Key West, Florida, things are rolling on down the tracks. That's because the committee has a location and a menu set for Key West, Florida. In Billings, Andrea Lutz. MTN News. And the passengers on the train traveled to Pompey's Pillar and back for roughly two hours having dinner and drinks provided by BNSF.